As creators in the entertainment industry, we stand in solidarity with the members of SAG-AFTRA who are currently on strike. We recognise and understand the importance of fair compensation and good working conditions, not just for actors, but for all other performers, writers and crew members. So in support of this, we'll be refraining from discussing or promoting any upcoming releases from the Struck Studios until the strike is resolved. If you're looking for more information on the strikes, visit www.sagaftra.org. All that being said, as seen in is not going anywhere, we and your favourite segments are staying right here. So let's get on with the episode. And I lied, we have another quick announcement to make. Just before, quickly, just really quickly. The British Podcast Awards have recently launched the Listener's Choice Awards and we would love for you to vote for us if you enjoy listening to As Seen In. It's super easy to vote. All you have to do is head to britishpodcastawards.com slash voting, search for As Seen In and cast your vote. The link will also be in our bio on socials as well as in the show notes of this episode. I know we made that sound super serious, it's really not, so thank you so much in advance if you do vote. Feel free to tell a friend. Again, no pressure... But anyway, let's get into the episode for real. I want it all. I- <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I actually didn't even get to one second yeah. in. Because I know that song like oh. the back of my head. Chris Evans came up and I did pass. Yeah. Why'd you pass Chris Evans? We just love problematic people. No. We don't, but we They we just do, turn out they, to yeah. be problematic afterwards. Yeah. Like I don't go seeking yeah. out problematic people. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to As Seen In. Hi guys, welcome back. This episode is really fun. Oh, yeah, we already said we're in a new studio when we start the episode. New studio, anyway. um, and we did, what did we do? We did a tier list, we did some Who Am I's, we did some Guess the Songs, it was really good. We had some fights. We did. It's been a theme recently. Unfortunately. Um, a lot of disagreements lots happening. Lots of disagreements. But it's so fun. But it's so fun. It's so fun and so fun. So fun and fun. But yeah, enjoy the episode. Okay. Okay, <laughs> a few things. We're in a new studio again. Again. Ignore. I think we should just preface every episode by being like, you don't know where we are and that's fine. <laughs> You're never going to know where we're going to show up. <laughs> um, we're in a new studio today. We have a table, which yeah. I've been trying to advocate for. You have, and I've been on the way. Yeah, we, we just, just haven't, haven't found one. Yeah, I so think it's so much better to have a table. We've got a table. Um, should we go straight into guess the song? No, we have no. to do a weekly catch up. Weekly catch up. What's yours? We went to the opera. That's our, That's our collective. Yeah, our collective. Weekly catch up. It was so operatic. Like it was literally opera. It was like, we didn't know what to expect other than opera and that's what we got. But like, that's, I can't explain it. Like when you picture the opera, it's that. I th- I was going in like, oh, it's going to yeah. be like maybe them singing opera and then like it'll be a play as well as some other things. They'll talk, but it's literally like a musical. But yeah, they're singing there's opera no the whole talking time. really. She And there's no mics. No, there's no mic. Which stressed me out. Yeah, Because no when mics. they were doing the quieter opera, I was like... Yeah. I mean, I couldn't hear it anyway because it was Italian. Yeah. I can and, understand. And anyway. Royal Opera House, if you see this, f- make sure your superscripts or your subscripts, your, you know, the... What's called? Captions, captions at the top are working. Yeah, but I think that was... A, now I'm looking back, I think it was purposeful because every scene, they'd stop at some point and they'd carry on singing. But it wasn't just... I don't get it. Don't get me wrong. I was literally like oh, I finally understand the story. And then the caption would go off for 10 minutes. And I'm like, well, yeah, how the hell am I supposed to know? Yeah, because it was fully Italian. Fully. But, but for those who are wondering, we saw La Traviata, which is probably one of the most iconic operas, inspired stories like Moulin Rouge, Pretty Woman. It was very good in terms of like their singing. Yeah. So they're so talented. It was good. At times I was laughing and not out of like... Basically, me and Tati can never go anywhere we and can't. not have a really awkward experience. Like, and there was nothing particularly awkward about this. It's just that we can't take anything seriously. And it was our first one. So it yeah. was like, we kind of knew what to expect, but then they would be like, oh, in yeah. each other's face. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. Genuinely fair enough. Like, what did we expect going to an opera? I don't know. But it was- it I actually was, don't know what I was expecting. It was so amazing being able to like dress up. Yeah, we did. If you haven't seen the pics. Like go on our socials because we posted stuff. But we posted so many. <laughs> It, the, what made me laugh was us posing outside the Savoy. Yeah, we didn't actually stay at the Savoy, but we did pose outside of it <laughs> and upload it and tag them. Yeah. So if you're watching Savoy, like free press. <laughs> not that you need it. But not that you need it so much. But yeah, that was like highlight for sure. Yeah, we had a good time. I want to go to more things like that where it's yeah. like... Because we were also talking about the barriers to entry in so many different entertainment world type things. They're so high for no reason. But now that the opera kind of like broadening and like being more accessible, definitely, definitely recommend going just yeah. one time. We want to see the ballet next. 
need to see the Nutcracker. Sort of, yeah, or Nutcracker, Swan Lake. Or Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Like any ballet, to be fair. Yeah. I saw Ballet Black one time um, at the Royal Opera House. Amazing. They're like a black and Asian ballet company. Slayer. And they're just so, so stunning. Because, you know, traditionally people say like black people and Asian people can't be ballerinas because of their body type. Sorry. What? Yeah, what? it's a whole thing. I think they just say that for the racism. I think they might just be <laughs> lying about that. Because what yeah. does that even mean? Because the, apparently it's like if you don't have any like prominent features, you're like a better ballet dancer because of the aerodynamics. Because you're streamlined. Yeah, like how swimmers like, but like. Yeah, but white girls can have massive tits. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think that's racist, but sure, we'll go and yeah. see that. And Belly Black comes were back. Incredible. Okay, I'm excited. Like they were so incredible. So that just completely dispelled yeah. all those rumors. Also, you like wear a tutu anyway, so yeah. it's not like you're. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where the truth is, but yeah. I don't know where the truth is lying here. Mm. Um, yeah, it was really fun. It We'd go really back. Fun. We'd go back in a heartbeat. And we will pick a different dress. Pick a different dress. Yeah. Can't do the same outfit twice. No, no outfit repeat, is it? No. And if you see me wearing it elsewhere, I will. I will. Just not to um, the Royal Opera House. No, 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 no. Um, to see the opera. I wouldn't wear the same thing to the same place, but I'll wear the same thing no. everywhere exactly. else. Exactly. Do you get me? Exactly. Anyway, let's anyway, move on. Guess the song. We're guessing the song as... That was so scary. <laughs> we're guessing the song as always. Yeah. We are... Well, you've just sprung on me that you're doing an addition. Yeah, I so decided I'm deciding to. to do an addition too, and that was just very much on the spot. So basically, I'm choosing to do Disney, Naughty's Disney's songs as my guest the song Fine. this week. And what's your addition? Mine's specifically High School Musical. Oh, okay. So one, two, I'm and gonna, three combined. I'm literally going to ace this so much. <laughs> I'm so yeah, good yeah. at this. I mean, High I School would Musical, also. I know like the back of my yeah, hand. Yeah, me joking. too. But you, you pranked me last minute. And okay. I'm, Fine. Okay. Should I go first? Yeah. Okay. We're um, doing what three each? Yeah, let's do three each. Sure. Um. I can um, climb, climb, perfect. The climb. You could have given me less, and I'd have got yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just wanted to start easy. So, 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 so. Okay. Okay. Now I'm looking at them. They're all very like Just they have those. such distinctive. <laughs> ready. They have such distinctive starts. Yeah. Go on. Okay. This might be harder than it sounds. High School Musical is musical genius, in my opinion. Oh, it's genuinely yeah. Grammy And I just really hope people aren't thinking we're being funny. No. I hope we're... Once in a lifetime. Every day. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. No, we're not being funny. We're just... That, we're play, just... That, play that for... Well, we've already guessed it. Yeah. That's... Once in okay. a lifetime. This one is harder. This one is actually It difficult. can't be from Lemonade Mouth because I won't get it. No, it's not lemonade mouth, but it's just difficult. No, is it Hannah Montana? Yeah. No, I need no. Is it um? Uh, I need to keep. <laughs> I need to keep doing it. I need to keep doing it to know. Just say it one more time. Sorry. What the hell was that? That was different. Prank. This is it. Oh, yeah. What is it? No, no, no. It's Hannah Montana. No, is it something about like? It's not that. Did I get it? I turn around and then anything. Yeah. Like, and then somehow I knew that it was more than just. And it's going through the whole thing. Yeah. Like, it's kind of it's too good to be true. And then you end the phone me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the name. Ordinary girl. I'm just, I'm just an ordinary yeah. girl. Like you, like me. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. I actually knew that deep down. Yeah. As you can tell by the singing. I really knew. Okay. You next. did know it. I'll give you that. Hundred percent. Okay. Three, two, one. Imagine having everything we ever dreamed. Don't you want it? I want it I all. <laughs> yeah. That was really good. Yeah. I actually didn't even get to one second yeah. in. Because I know that song like oh. the back of my head. It's my favorite. It's one of my That's favorites one of, mine too. of the whole repertoire. That's one of mine too. It's just, can we just... No, I want it all is it. so true. I feel like Sharpay did so it's much. It's the for New York us. references, I feel like. And just because it's like, it inspires so much. Like, we don't talk enough about what High School Musical did for our ambition. I want I it remember all. when they Think did Think bigger. Like, I remember when they did that and I watched it for the first time and it was like, it was almost like they were breaking the fourth wall within High School Musical because yeah, they yeah. had like the set within the set, yeah. but they weren't on stage, they yeah. were in the lunch hall. Yeah. And I was like, this is cinema. Yeah. She said, imagine having everything you ever dreamed. Don't you want it? Can't you Maybe. see it? Maybe. Can't you see it? Kind Imagine, f like, no. 
I get the lead apart from me. Well, of course, yeah, right. You've got to believe it. Do you know what I mean? You've got to believe Keep it. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> you and you I all the same. Okay, okay. We know. Okay. Well, next one. Yeah. Maybe? Um, it's not gonna be. Oh, okay. This one, it's not from a musical, obviously. Fine. But it's like it kind of is. Kay. No, no, it's not. But it's from a it's from a naughty Disney TV show, ish. Fucked up. Kaylee. No, I do kind of know that though. You do know it so much. One more time. Is it from um? What the hell is that from? TV You're show. You're thinking too much into where it's from. Think just about the actual song. Is it Selena Gomez? No, it's a guy. What? Beautiful Soul, Jesse McCartney. Never heard. Shh. Surely not. Well, like, obviously I've heard it in the episodes of the ones that... Is oh. it of Icarly? No. What's he in? What's he in? No, Hannah Montana. Uh, no. What's he in? Jesse he, McCartney, he as in... in he was in one episode of, of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. What? This who's the recurring one in the college? I swear he did. Kaylee. I mean, I don't care. He was in. How are you not going to know that? He was in something. Kaylee. No, I'm, I just have he to prove that he was in anything. iCarly. He wasn't he in was. iCarly. Yes, he no, was. No, he wasn't in iCarly. Jesse McCartney. What's that then? Fine. He yeah. was in iCarly. He was in iCarly. Fine. So but I actually not, did know all he, along that he was in iCarly. But... But we're talking about Disney here, not Nickelodeon. So him and iCarly is irrelevant. Fine, but it was relevant to me. Fine, but it's Beautiful Soul by Jesse McCartney from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He but plays really, Carly's romantic lover. So just to let you know. I only, what? Well, wow, that's interesting they use Jesse McCartney because they also used, you know, in I Date a Bad Boy Yeah. with um, the bad boy. He was also in Hannah Montana as the bad boy. He mm. was very typecast. Yeah, but he's not paying Jesse McCartney. No. Kyle. Yeah, but in Sweet Life, he was Jesse okay, McCartney. Okay, sorry. I don't remember the song It was like, <sighs> Sorry. I can't believe that never stuck with no, you after you heard it. No, and I watched all of the Sweet Life stuff as well. <sighs> okay, one more for me. So sorry. Oh, we're still doing my high school music, Just one. Fine. I'm going to do it at random. Really, I'm not even going to Really shocked by that. Sorry, I've disappointed you, but sometimes I do shock you. <laughs> this one. Okay. No, that was too easy. Um, do, 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 do. Ooh. Okay, never It's mind. the first one. Start yeah, something new? No. Just play that intro one more time. I really know it. <laughs> breaking free, breaking yeah, free. Yeah, fine, fine. Gosh. See, I'm happy that it took you time. That was a, that was a challenge, Conflict that of one. interest. That was a conflict for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, okay. For sure. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. let's Sorry. do some Who Am I's. Yes. It's been a minute since we've done a Who it Am I. It has been. I think I actually did one, so I might make one up on the spot. Okay, I've got two. Um, okay, so you start with one then. Yeah, I'll start with one. Um, okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five clues for the first one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So number one, I gave my youth to you. Um, number choice don't, one. Like, just let me finish. Do you you know did mean? this to me once, and I was fucking fuming <laughs> because I remember being like, my clues were so good and they were wasted. They were so. These are so. Can I read you my yes. clues at least? But yeah, you're right. Um, so I gave my youth to you because my youth, my youth, my is, youth yours. is yours. Um, my neighborhood used to be blue. Yeah. Oh, I'd have got it even if I hadn't got the first one. Okay. Fine. Leave this blue neighborhood. Okay. Love and all love and good. This good. Yeah. And yeah. then it was time to leave YouTube behind. Yeah. Um, pills don't have to be big and sad. Because <laughs> they're happy and little. Oh my fucking god. My happy little. How good is that? Blue. And then yeah, I, like that. I share a name with your favorite wildcat. Troy. Try. Try. Now I yeah. could hardly breathe. That's so annoying that you I'm got sorry. that after. But I needed redemption because I've been yeah, lacking, you've been, slacking on you've these. Been like slacking. I didn't get that Chris Evans one. Yeah. It was so just I needed so a rough. Yeah. I'm all right. So yeah. Sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I was doing a um, just to myself in my bed. I was doing you know those like TikTok filters where they um, it would be oh, like yeah. something above your head. Yeah. Well, I love doing those. I was like, I'm not gonna time. post it, but it Never. was it was like um. Basically, people were doing like five smash five pass of, and then it'll be like actors over 40 or like mm. DILF actors, whatever. So then you have to do the Super 10 cash. you get and you have to categorize. Okay. And Chris Evans came up and I did pass. Yeah. Why'd you pass Chris Evans? Because I just don't, I, I, I don't know that I find him that attractive. But what about him is not attractive to you? I just don't, it's quite macho. Yeah. But, but he's, he's just not like a vibe. different category of attractive. 
Do you get me? I, I preferred him when he was younger, and but that I normally go for an older. So that's where I'm confused because, to me, I don't see him fit as a like Pedro Pascal. He's fit, and I know he's old. Right. Chris Evans is fit when he was twenty, and I see him now, and I'm like, you're not fit as an old person. He, I think he looks so much better as an older person. You say old, older. No, I feel literally, like, let's not 40's not old. Like forty's not old <clears throat> at all. You're still young. You're you're you're, you're middle aged. Old. You're, do you know what I mean? But yeah, okay. I feel like he's... I, I don't know. Like he's a handsome, handsome older man. No? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I, I think it's more his personality. A... Yeah, I just don't know much about him. That's probably why. Like, his personality is like no, so I've fun. seen a few. He's fun and cute. I think. Sure. Because I know I like the really puppy well. video. Yeah, he just loves dogs. I think that's cute. Anyway. Yeah. Who else was on the list then? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> we are interrupting this broadcast. Guys, if you are enjoying this episode, please make sure to subscribe and drop us a comment. And also check us out on audio platforms and give us a rate because it really helps us out. Back to the episode. Bye. Um, it was, I smashed Pedro Pascal. Okay. And I smashed Ethan Hawke. Okay. And I smashed, let me just fucking find it. Um, Basically, yeah, I remember I remember a few people coming up and I was like, oh, Tati would be fuming if she knew I'd passed on <laughs> on these lot. I feel like our type is just, it's like, it's like it crosses over. It does because of- Because there's literally because of, so many- Yeah, chef. <laughs> so it has to. It crosses, there's defo some crossover, but there's yeah. also some which are just polar opposites. Yeah, okay, so I, I smashed Pedro Pascal, Christian Bale, David Harbour, absolutely, and then Ethan Hawke. And then I had to smash Tom Hardy because he was my 10th, but I'd already filled up my passes, but I wouldn't have picked him. Who did you pass? Pass Keanu Reeves, Tom Hiddleston, Mads Mikkelsen, Chris Evans, and Hugh Jackman. Yeah, I agree with all of them apart from Chris Evans. I do I think Tom Hiddleston could have replaced Tom Hardy, but I don't know. He's more no, like cutie than like sexy. I don't know. Like to me, they're just all middle-aged white men. So. Yeah, there was actually no range in that field. So now I'm looking at it. There actually was zero range. So it's like they're all very, either very similar. Yeah, that's so true. But yeah. What's, yeah, what's, sure. What's your next guess? What's yes. your who am I? Bloody hell. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, mm. So true. Yes. Oh, I'm scared so now because I'm just not actually that good at these. No, you are. Okay, thanks. I, I just wanted the validation. I, just I know think I'm good I was at them. feeding your <laughs> delusion. I just knew I was good at them. And who I was like, am no. I? <laughs> okay. I don't know any numbers over 25. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I thought so that was gonna be, good at I this. I thought that would be your, Oh, are you? Are you? <laughs> it's the golf as well, then. I, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You thought you did something there. I did so much um, there. Do you want to hear the, the other ones? Them, yeah. So I only know. So, okay, let's. For a short, I'll read them all out. Okay, yeah. And then we can, you know. Okay. People can guess otherwise. You know, where's the fun? Yeah, uh, yeah for the shorts, like, if you guys don't follow us on socials, um, well, it's fine because you're watching this. <laughs> but for the people who only follow us on socials, they sometimes won't like still yeah. want to play along. Yeah, play along. Okay, so who am I? I only know numbers zero to twenty-five. Oh, I really rephrased that differently. Yeah, zero. Zero. To no, as in like maybe eighteen to twenty-five. Yeah. No, because that's obvious what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, facts. You're right. I'm gonna start again. Mm. Who am I? I only know numbers above twenty-five. Below. No fucking hell. <laughs> Below so much. No, literally fucking hell. <laughs> so much. Okay. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Who? Who am I? I only know no numbers. I only know numbers below 25. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I'm a real catch. Okay. Yeah. The tabloids are suggesting I'm a stepdad to a certain it couple's baby. Oh. And a door could have saved my life. And then an extra mm. one for you is going to be a lead in one of my favourite films because obviously Shutter, Shutter Island. Island. Interesting. I would have got um, The Door Could Have Saved My Life mm -hmm. and I would have got The Catch mm -hmm. one. But what's the step? Because he's son? apparently dating Gigi Hadid, Hadid again. Hadid. Yeah. Really? So everyone's saying like lol in order to get rid of his stepdad to the Bradford baby. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if any of that's true, but whatever. I can't imagine Gigi, my girl, going for him. I don't know. I, I really can. Can you? Yeah. That's interesting. We're acting like we know these no, guys. No, I don't know you guys. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'll do, Next. I'll do another one. Yeah, because I don't have another one. Okay. Oh, this you're happy with this. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. It's just like, I don't see you getting it until right at the Some end. Some delinquent. No, no, no. It's just not anything that you'd expect. Okay. Um, okay. I love to work a crowd. 
Everyone, oh, this one is obvious, low key. I don't know. Switch the order then. Yeah, yeah. From front men to actors and models, so many people have my name, okay? Everyone who comes to watch me wants to sleep with me. Everything, everything, everything. Everyone thinks Zendaya rejected me and everyone keeps asking me to take off my belt. Oh my God, Matt Rife. Yeah. Wait, I need to, okay, I need to, first of all, second of all, I need to revisit the question. Yeah. So I love to work a crowd because yeah, he does his crowd work, comedian. Sure. Every, from front men to actors and models, so many people have my name because Matt. Matt is such a basic yeah. name. Um, everyone who comes to watch me wants to sleep with me because he did that interview one time when he's like, I yeah. can't sleep with all of you. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, right. um, everyone thinks Zendaya rejected me because he was on that Wild and Out show. Yeah. Um, and yeah. apparently that's all scripted anyway. Sure. Um, and then everyone keeps asking me to take off my yeah. belt because he had that video go viral of yeah. him taking off his belt with one hand. I don't know why I know the specifics of it. Because we used to <laughs> indulge slightly and now we have Was my For You page back. once upon a time 100% Matt Rife? Yeah. Maybe. Is it any more? Yes. Who knows? Anyway. Who the hell <laughs> knows? Okay. Okay. Um, we just love problematic people. No. We don't, but we They we just do, turn out then, to yeah. be problematic afterwards. Yeah. Like I don't go seeking yeah. out problematic people. Yeah. You know his world tour is called Problematic. Problemat? Yeah. Ick. It's an amazing name. But oh, it's that also is, just like But that's also so not good. You know you're problematic. Nah. But it's a great name. It's like really Love great marketing. Sorry, words. just no, let's see. just touch toes. Um, <laughs> but it's a great like marketing thing because yeah. he's playing into it. And everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, like we oh, are now. Yeah, we're so <laughs> we've just given him ten we minutes. We are the of problem. Refresh. So that's the thing. <laughs> um actually something that wasn't on any really at all related. Yeah. I am psychic. Okay. Okay, I am. I'm gonna need some proof to back up this statement. Well, I've told you everything and there's... Okay, I know, you know I believe you, you but believe tell me. I like, can't tell them some things. Yeah, not everything. That thing. <laughs> but, yeah, can you imagine? But I can tell you that I predicted the Jonas Brothers yeah. and busted. Yeah, I saw the story. literally knew it, guys. That's insane. I had, I don't even remember where I was. I just remember I had this like wave of and it was like the Jonas Brothers are going to bring out Busted on a tour in mm. the UK that mm. was it it was like it was like a, a message mm. whatever you want to call it I was like that's random that's so random and I looked at their both their um, pages at that time and there was nothing to suggest I had plucked that out of thin air and I was like nah mm. still had it as like a bet and then literally two days later whenever it was um, someone's put on their story that the Jonas Brothers are releasing a version of Year 3000 with Busted. And I was like, I, I knew it. You did know. I knew it. I'm so excited about that. That's so cool. I'm excited, but I don't, I knew it. Yeah, so. you did know. Quickly, recast oh, Prince Hal. freak. In The King. Prince who? Sorry, Timmy, Timothy. Timothy Jamie in The King? Yeah. Oh, someone's played that character? Yeah. Um, 10. No. <laughs> Nine. Um, fuck. Eight. Seven. Six. No one's coming to mind. Um, Three. No, I. you didn't. Well, that doesn't count. Well, how doesn't am I? Count. The seconds just stop when I drink or something? Time stops. Fine, five. No. <laughs> Four. Three. British, British, British young Two. man. One. Whatever okay, who do you think? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Nothing. No, there's absolutely nothing coming to mind. Yeah. Can you just pretend to count this from 10? Again? Mm. 10. <laughs> Nine? Like... Um, no, because I think maybe it'll put pressure on me to get someone to come out. Eight? I need to stop using my same pool of people. Yeah. Oh, Corey Milchrist. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good answer. Because he was... When he was in his, like, weird era in King... Weird, wrong word. <laughs> in his, like... Not even because of that, but, like, in, in the... St when he was pretending to be stern. Yeah. That's the kind of vibe Timmy was giving me yeah, in The King. Fair enough. That's really good. Also, it's hard because Timmy's not British, but he was playing a British person. Yeah. Good though. Thanks. That also reminded me I have to give you one. Yeah. Because I did forget. Okay, so, so fine. Fine. Um, should we move on or do you want to give me another one? No, we move on. Okay, so we're going to do version two of the tier list. If you watched oh, one of our last episodes, we did a tier list and we each came with 
our own tier list made of like five different movies, right? Yeah. This time we're gonna do it where we both just bring five random movies and we have to org organize them in a list of 10 from best to worst in com combination. So we don't know what other movies the other person's gonna say, but now we have to like categorize them basically and just try to figure out what's better than the other movies. Yeah. So I wrote down a bunch, but I'm only gonna give you, we'll go one for one, just keep going back and forth with one movie. Um, so I, I gave, I, I like wrote down extra just in case we repeated some, just in case you had some of mine. But yeah. Yeah, okay, you go. What's Well, your? no, I'm on the wrong notes app, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on so much. I need to type it in. Wait, you give me yours first, cause then I'll tell you, tell you while I look. So I remember writing them down. Okay, go. Okay, one, m one of mine is Penelope. Haven't seen that. What's Penelope? The one with the girl with the pig nose. Is that not called Babe? Genuinely, no. Penelope. Oh, Pig Nose, not... I was thinking of Charlotte's Web or Babe. Penelope. I've not seen it. It's got James McAvoy. Oh, Fine, yeah. that can't be on I it, guys. That. If you've seen Penelope, so I haven't seen it at all. Kelly hasn't seen it. So yeah, well, you that. haven't seen you. most films ever made. <laughs> so, and we have a film podcast. So, okay, okay, one of mine was really random. You go for your first one, though. Okay, Crazy Stupid Love. F perfect, amazing yeah. stuff. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Okay. For some reason. Okay, fine. Write these down so that we know. Goblet of Fire. Um, I'll go New Year's Eve. I love that film. New Year's Eve. Goblet of Fire, New Year's Eve. What was the first one? Craze. 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 Um, I'm saying Beautiful Disaster. Damn. Okay. Beautiful Disaster 2020. When was that? I don't know. Recent-ish. Okay. And then I'll say... The Greatest Showman. Ooh. Yeah. So is that our five? Okay, yeah. Or do we we'll do, do ten? We'll do five. We'll do five. It's easier for you guys to follow. Okay. So Crazy Stupid Love, Goblet of Fire, New Year's Eve, Beautiful Disaster, and The Greatest I'm Showman. I'm going to struggle with this a lot. Rate them, rank them in order. I actually, I... Our I best to worst. Need, should we first go through them a little bit? So Goblet of Fire was the fourth Harry Potter installment with Robert Pattinson as Cedric. Correct? Our Pats, I forgot he was yeah. in that. Yeah. Right? New Year's Eve is... Ghastly movie, but great at the same time. Oh yeah, like bad, but good. Is it yeah. the Zac Efron one? Yeah, Zach, Taylor, Taylor, like they're all Okay, there. that's the New Year's Eve. It's like the 10 I thought the Taylor, Taylor one was Valentine's Day. Yeah, you're right, I'm wrong. I am right. Yeah. So, but the it is New the Year's same Eve's vibe. Yeah, it's, it's the like, same yeah, vibe. yeah. It's the intertween, intertween. <laughs> it's got so many storylines. Yeah, okay. Um, it's like, yeah, yeah, so many different storylines happening simultaneously, yeah. but Zach Efron was in his acting yes. bag. Crazy Stupid Love. Great rom com. We watched it last night. Literally, so it's fresh. it is one of my favorite films. Yeah, it's. What are you doing with a daughter that's what are you grown doing up? Not, it's <laughs> so good, so good. I think it's underrated. I don't know. I know a lot of people like it, but my problem with it is that people that think it's a very serviceable rom com How that won't it watch it are, oh, are wrong. That's so and won't watch wrong it because there's so many exactly. layers. There's like three storylines exactly. that all combine. So at I'm. The end. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying like someone might not pick it up and yeah that's they, annoying that's how i feel about about time okay People yeah, just probably yeah. Think it's a rom-com but it's so it's so much more much more than that yeah okay beautiful okay. disaster oh in the beautiful disaster in the after cinematic universe in somehow but somehow. not because trevor is not there no. so it's not but it still is because they reference it so sure much. and um it's dylan sprouse yeah and that's all that's i'm gonna all say, we'll say that. and then the Greatest Showman. The gr oh, you really shouldn't have put that on the list. Oh, we've got a lot of Zac Efron here. Showman. Balls. Well, not really. It's just two. two. The Greatest Showman. Okay. A musical. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Such a good musical. Right, so are we ranking them just in general? General. Best to on worst. Best to worst. Yeah. General best to worst. I will try. Okay. I'm going to go. Okay, what's your top it's number one? It's between Goblet of Fire and Crazy Stupid Love. I agree wholeheartedly. And I'm going to go Goblet of Fire. Okay, I, because, I will I will agree. Do you get me? Yeah. Just because it's like, it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Do you get me? So then are we saying Crazy Stupid next? Yes, 100%. Okay. And oh, then, then now I'm struggling because- No, there's, there's no struggle other, here. But there's other there's, reasons that Beautiful Disasters is, is amazing. Entertainment value. But I know that it's like, okay, let's be honest. It's gonna- <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. 
So it goes Goblet of Fire, Crazy Stupid Love. Three, two, one, we have to say the next one we okay. think. Three, two, one, Greatest Great Showman. Showman. Absolutely. Right. Then New Year's Eve. Then New Year's Eve, then, then Beautiful, Beautiful Disaster. disaster. Like, but I would honestly argue Beautiful Disaster made me laugh a hundred million times more than New Year's Eve. I would actually agree wholeheartedly okay. with Beautiful Disaster. So fourth. should we? Yeah. But the thing is, I was also really biased because I had a, ma a major Zac Efron phase for no reason. No, there so was for reason. That, There's such for reason. That, I, if if we if we had done this ten years ago, I would have I would have fought, fought you to the death. Yeah, me too. Over that, I'd me have too. been like, that needs. But if we take Zac Efron out of it, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like and he we've was got, the only memorable thing. Yeah, and we've got Greatest Showman in there as well, so it's okay. Is New Year's Eve the one where they all want to kill themselves? Mm, I don't know. On I top of the roof. No, uh, I don't know. On guys, New Year's Eve, and they're all know. depressed, and then they like. No, I think it's a New Year's Eve like happy movie <sighs> where they're celebrating New Year's Eve and they're all rushing to like. It's like a rom com. Isn't that just love actually? No, it's oh. like, it's in the same vein. Thing is, I was such a Zac Efron fan, I know that he did a suicidal rooftop film. Mm, it's in the same vein as Love Actually, um, as you said, okay. like Valentine's Day, okay. like the whole multiple storylines going on at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. I do actually really get you. Yeah. Um, so I, I think we've done well with that. Like guys, I know you're gonna disagree, but whatever. Well, we were gonna do another one, but we'll move that to a different episode, I think. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we'll, we'll save the other movies. Like, you're just gonna have to follow, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Um, and we'll it has seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Who? New Year's Eve. Really? That's really bad. <laughs> it's a good that's movie, though. So weird. Well, then I don't feel bad about leaving that at number five. Then. Yeah, that's so true. You didn't give me a recast. Do a recast before we end this. Um, I always keep forgetting. I get too yeah, much. Get too much. Um, recast. I'm even gonna look at my list. Recast. Hugh Jackman in The Greatest Showman. This is relevant. Mm. 10, oh, by the way, nine, eight, seven. No, you said <laughs> stop with the, no. 10. They need to be able to see. Nine, eight, The guy who played Jean seven. Valjean in Les Mis. Yeah, what's his name? I don't know. Jean Valjean. Two, four, six, one. Two. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. Him, okay. just because I know fine, he can sing fine. all Lin-Manuel, let's be so real. Honestly, Lin Manuel, that, he could do whatever he, he wanted. Could genuinely do anything, that man. Yeah, I'm gonna go Lin. Fine, I'll go Lin because I can really picture him doing that. Yeah. Every night I lie in bed. He'd be like, the brightest color <laughs> of all my. He'd do it like talking. A million dreams. <laughs> yeah. Keeping me away. Yeah, so true. Oh, good old Hamilton. Good old Hamilton. Okay. So okay. Fine, nice. guys. Make sure you like comment subscribe and make sure you follow us and leave a rating if you're listening on audio platforms um yeah thank you so much for thank listening thank you so much for listening let's do a cheeky um, intro well we haven't finished yeah, the bye uh, thank you so much for listening yeah see you next time see you next time when i see you next goodbye